to our series on the life cycle of a early stage tax dispute into part 11 now, dealing with the postponement of the tax, which is due as a result of the discovery assessment. So here's our timeline. We're still in the bottom right, um, dealing with the discovery assessment for FY16 in the appeals process. And you'll remember that as well as appealing the discovery assessment and the process involved in that, separately, the taxpayer needs to apply to postpone the tax that is due. Without doing this, notwithstanding the appeal, the tax liability will be due and payable. So that needs to be done within 30 days. And typically, it would be done at the same time as the appeal, making the same arguments that were made when the appeal was lodged. HMRC would typically be expected to agree to a postponement, particularly in the context of a discovery assessment issued on a protective basis, as is the case in our example, where there is an ongoing inquiry and discussions with the revenue are ongoing. In the event that they weren't to agree to it, there is a mechanism to go to the tax tribunal and ask them to approve a postponement instead. Once approved, the postponed tax doesn't go away. It is just as the name suggests, postponed. And so interest accrues on that tax. And in the event that the appeal of the discovery assessment is unsuccessful, interest will have accrued in the intervening period. And finally, point to note that the tax cannot be postponed to the extent that it's subject to an accelerated payment notice. If that's the case, then it needs to be paid and this postponement option is not available.